read the script. Fantastic. Give me just one moment, please. All right, go right ahead. Okay. As chair of the Children, House, and Family Law Committee, I find that due to the state of emergency declared by the governor as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic and in accordance with the governor's emergency order number 12, pursuant to executive order 2020-04, this public body is authorized to meet electronically. Some committee members are participating in this meeting from the LOB. This is a public hearing on bills referred to the House Con House Children and Family Law Committee, it may be followed by an executive session. That's not really happening today, but that's what I'll normally read. Please note that there is no physical location for members of the public to observe and listen contemporaneously to this meeting. However, in accordance with the emergency order, I am confirming that all members of the committee and select legislative staff have the ability to communicate contemporaneously during this meeting through the Zoom electronic meeting platform and the public has access to contemporaneously listen and if necessary, participate in this meeting by the Zoom platform or by telephone. All necessary access information has been made available in the house calendar and through the electronic calendar on the general courts website. The notice for this meeting complies with house rules and RSA 91A. Anyone who has a problem accessing the meeting should call 271-3600 or email hcs at leg.state.nh.us. In the event the public is unable to access the meeting, the meeting will be adjourned and rescheduled. The staff assisting on this meeting is Christina Dyer, researcher from the House Committee Services. Please note that all votes are taken during this meeting shall be done by roll call. Let's start the meeting by taking a roll call attendance. When each member states their presence, please also state whether there is anyone in the room with you during this meeting, which is required under the right to know law. Thanks. Do we really have to take attendance for today, Christina? I would, um, just because it's being recorded. Okay, so just for future reference, normally Representative um, Caroletta Alicia has graciously agreed to be our um, committee clerk. She was um, the committee clerk my first time I was a chair. So nothing against you, Pat, but I figure you're gonna be busy being like the ranking member or something, right? <laughs> so um, I have asked Caroletta Alicia, and I honestly think that in these times, it's very good for Caroletta and I to show our good working relationship where she is a Democrat and I am a Republican. So let's, and that's the only time we're ever gonna use the R and D words again, okay? Cause we're just all here to do what's best for the children and the family of our state, but um, Who's going to take the roll call? Will that be you, Christina? I can if you like. I I prepared to take. Oh, you oh, are. Perfect. Oh well, yeah. by all means, please do. <laughs> okay. If I mispronounce your name, please correct me, and I will do my best not to ever do it again. The chair, Kimberly Rice, present, and I am in the LOB in a room by myself. Cassandra Levesque, Cody Bellinger. It's Belanger, ma'am, but I'm here. Belanger, thank you, sir. I'm at you. Debra, Debra starts with an H. And I will just interrupt if folks could say where they are and if they are alone to, uh, to be in compliance. I, I apologize. I'm here in my home alone. Uh, Minus the three dogs. Mr. Ballinger alone. Okay, thank you. Uh, I have a Deborah A. H. S. I. or C. H. 
That's Hi, Representative Ms. Schiller. Yeah, Schiller. Okay. Is she here, please? No. Representative Deborah D. Simone. I am here. I'm in my home and I'm alone. My yeah. husband will be in later. Thank you. Uh, Denise Smith. I am here. I am in my dining room. Um, I may have a child or two walk through um, doing remote learning. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Erica Connors. Um, Erica is actually not on our committee. Ooh. That's an error. She is on, um, I think it's R&D or something, yeah. Thank you. I must have gotten the old sheet. Yeah. Gabby Grossman. Hi, everyone. It's good to see all your faces, the familiar ones. Um, it's Gabby Grossman. Thank you. And I am present. I've got, I'm home and I have two remote learners in the house. Thank you. John Lewicki. I'm here alone. Thank you. And I am at home. Thank you. Josh Yukila. Uh, present, home alone. Melissa Litchfield. Do you Melissa. have some? She appears to be frozen. Uh oh. Are you able to hear me now? We can hear you a little bit, yes. It might help to turn your, your video off. Sometimes that helps with the feed. Okay. Are you, do you hear me better now? Yes. Thank you. Probably because I have three of my children. In, okay. So the thank issue. You. <laughs> thank you. Patrick Long. I'm at home, I'm alone, and I'm here. Thank you. Peter Petrigno. Hi, I'm home in my office alone. Thank you. Did a nice job, by the way, with the pronunciation. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Safia Weizar? Weizar. Wazir. Wazir, thank you. Yes, Sophia Wazir, present. I am in my car alone. <laughs> thank you. Caroletta Alisea, I am home alone. And can and you I just call on Representative Lebec again because you see her name on the screen. Cassandra Lebec. Hi, yes, I am here. I am in my kitchen alone. People may be coming in and out, depending on if they want food. Okay. All right. All right, Madam Chair. Thank you so much. <laughs> so first I wanna start off by saying, um, thanks so much for you know being on this committee. I, um, I personally love this committee. I love the work we do, and I think that we are just so responsible in our work, and I think that we set a good example for the rest of the committees in the House with our bipartisanship and um, the way that we all really try to work together. Um, some of my expectations as chair is that we are always respectful to each other. Um, there, you know, leave the R&D at the door because kids don't care. Kids don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat, you know, and we're just supposed to be looking out for what's best for them. And, you know, we're not going to agree on everything. That's, that's, you know, obvious, but we really, really do try to come to agreement on all our bills. You know, every, sometimes, you know, people just have to give a little and some, you know, it, it's just the way it is, you know, but um, I really, really want us to all be very respectful to each other and you know really be friends because 
I consider all my, the committee members that are returning from last year to be my friends. And I'm really excited to gain new friends. So um, I just am really looking forward to this term. Not, not that last term was bad, last term was great. Um, Representative Long did a fabulous job as chair. And, uh, you know, and I think we lost some really good members that we had, but um, I think we've gained some really good members also. So just to go over um, a few things. So you all know, I, I have, I've asked Representative Alicia to be the committee clerk when she graciously, graciously accepted, that's a big job. Um, and you know, Representative DeSimone is the vice chair and she will also be um, the committee member that is our tech support person mm -hmm. to help, you know, help me keep everybody who wants to speak and all of that in order. Um, I have asked Representative Litchfield to be our committee whip. Well, that doesn't, that's just for the Republicans, but anyways. <laughs> um, so um, that's where we are on that. Um, so before the meetings, we need to make sure everyone identifies one email address for the use of the gym, Zoom invitations. Okay, and that's how we'll know who's coming on. And, and Representative Lewicki, we'll make sure that we have your phone number so that you can um, be identified and we don't have to every time say, who's that number there um, going on? And, you know, the, um, the individual uh, Zoom invitations will be sent out to each one with their own specific link. Um, Let's see, if you're unable to attend, if you could just, you know, let me know, you know, everything's happen all the time and we all have very busy lives, um, you know, but just let me know, cause I, I will try to hold off on, you know, if I know you're gonna be just a minute or too late, I'll try to hold off, but I really am a stickler for starting on time because the public comes to our meetings, they're expecting them to start at a certain time and I don't want them sitting and waiting for 20 minutes because we're not on time. Um, so um, I do ask that everyone, you know, be on time because I'll start it. I'll start on time, whether you're there or not. <laughs> you know, so if you want to let me know if you're going to be a couple of minutes, I can drag things out a little bit when I start the meeting. But um, we will always, you know, be starting on time. Um, do not share your Zoom link with anyone else. It's specific to you. Um, and you should always try to enter the meeting, you know, 10 to 20 minutes um, ahead of time. That way we can make sure all the kinks are worked out and, you know, we're not running into any problems. Because as you know, this is really new for all of us, even though we've been doing a lot of the Zoom meetings, we just want to make sure that, you know, we have everything under control and ready to go when it's time to go and, and not keep the public waiting. Um, we're going to, you know, observe committee decorum. Um, so if you're in committee and, and you wanna ask a question, a question of the chair, a question of the person testifying or whatever, use the raise your hand thing on the Zoom thing. You can uh, raise your hand and, you know, um, Deborah will be helping, Representative DeSimone will be helping me keep track of, you know, who raised their hand. I will always try to go in order, but keep in mind, we have a lot of things going on at the time. So please be patient with me. Um, and, and, you know, you, you don't speak until you're recognized. That's just, you know, proper committee decorum. Um, if you could, Today, yeah, is an exception, but going forward, if you can have your video on during a public hearing, I think it means a lot to the public. They get to see who they're talking to. They get to see, you know, they, they know that you're paying attention to their testimony because while, you know, this may not have affected you, this has been something deeply personal in their life and, and they wanna know that people are listening. But one thing about our committee is it's very emotional. Um, not everything is black and white, um, there's a lot of emotions behind everything. So we always want to, you know, be respectful and make sure we're paying attention to the people who are testifying. Um, the chat feature will not be on. Um, 
and we but we can text or email during um, the hearing if if we you know if someone has an issue and you know um, I'm sure most hello sorry like <laughs> sorry no don't be sorry <laughs> yeah I will ask that it, you remain muted and then um you know until you're you're asked to talk that way we don't get the background noise we don't you know um, cause I understand things happen and it's, it's different when you're at home. My dog would, would be jumping up on me, trying to tell me a whole story in the middle of a meeting. So, um, you know, if, if, if you, if you mute, we, we avoid that. Um, let's see. Um, really quick. I wanted to touch on executive sessions. I know there's been a lot of talk about executive sessions. Um, we, those are going to be hybrid. Um, most of you know, I had COVID. I am not taking chances with anyone. Um, so the, they will be hybrid. You can, if you choose to come to the state house and wear a mask, then great. But if you don't want to stay home and, and you can do it this way, but your video must be on because we have to know who is voting. We have to be able to see that it's really you voting and not your neighbor that came over to sit in your seat so you could go walk your dog or something like that. So, you know, those are, um, I, I just wanted to let everyone know that so it could, you know, ease your mind um, a little bit. Also, Christina Dyer is our committee researcher and our committee assistant, right, Christina? Well, actually, um, I won't be the committee assistant. That will actually be Lindsay Forcier, uh, who oh, hasn't okay. quite returned yet. But I will. I am the researcher for the the committee. Mm -hmm. And for right now, you're you're kind of assisting me, right? Correct. <laughs> okay. Awesome. That's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, anytime you need something looked into or something, and you want to have um, Christina do that, that request goes through the chair. So you bring your request to me and, and I then bring it to um, Christina. I don't ever deny anyone's request for anything because we all want to have all the information we want to have. Um, and uh, so I think that's about it as far as that goes. Um, it looks like, I think that last count, I can't remember if it was 17 or 19 bills that we'll have coming to our committee. Um, we will be doing, we will have one set day a week. I don't know what that day is yet. And we will be going from nine to five because we, we want to get our work done. So, you know, one day a week, as soon as I know that day, I will definitely let all of you know, but we will, and we will be going full days to, um, get our work done because that is the people that have been here before know we have some bills where, you know, we get a lot of people to come in and testify on them. It's emotional. It's a long day. Um, but let's get it done because these, you know, a lot of these people have waited long enough for some results in their cases and, and lives. Um, uh, what else was I going to say? I don't know. Do you guys have any questions for me? Um, if you have a question, let's, let's practice using the raise your hand thing. <laughs> and then I believe that for right now, Christina is going to um, run that for me. Thank God, because I forgot my mouse for my laptop and I'm not really good without it. <laughs> but so does anyone have any questions? No, it looks like Representative Yokella has his hand up. Hey. Representative Yokella, how are you doing? I'm fine. Um, I have a question about uh, your statement that people need to be in, uh, have their video on during during voting for executive sessions. So yes. I, I think there's one person that's on this that is on via phone call. Right. So are you saying that phone calls are, would not be allowed during executive not session? Not during executive session. So we will work with Representative Lewicki to see if we can come to um, a solution for that. 
Um, but we do, we do have to know that it's actually the person voting, but we will work on that. Okay, this is Representative Lewicki. Uh, can you, uh, can you wait now, to be recognized, Representative Lewicki? Let me just make clear. sure that Representative Yokella is done. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems like it's going to be, like there was someone earlier that was having connection issues and they tur suggested turning off the, the um, video so that they could be heard. It seems like there's gonna be, uh, we're just opening up to a lot of problems so when we get to a vote, okay, they can turn their video back on. Representative Lewicki can certainly come um, in the building for exec session if he wants. Um, you know, that's that's a choice he has. But the, the um, speaker's office is working on ways to help make this work. You know what I'm saying? Because... You have to know who's who's voting. I, I can't have somebody's mother-in-law sitting there saying they're, you know, Representative De Simone, and I don't know that. I I so, understand. I'm yeah. concerned. I mean, and we're working it. on it. We are working on things. And just so you know that the only time time this meeting has to be shut down is if there's a technical problem on this end. Okay, if. If somebody's internet is down somewhere else, that does for the public. That does not mean that we have to shut down the meeting, right? Um, it's only if on our end there is a connectivity problem. Okay, so um, I, you know, I know that these are these are new times. I don't like this. I can't wait for the day that we can all be together again. That you know, I the day I can hug my friends again and. You know, we're all in the same room and and stuff. I can't wait for that. Unfortunately, that time just is not now. Um, you know, unless you choose to, you can come in here. We will be socially distanced. We'll have masks. Um, the the new um, air things with the UV lights have been put in today um, into the rooms, so those will be working. Um, you know, we're really taking a lot of precautions, so people have choices. Uh, except for the public, we're, we're not um, letting the public in. But what were you going to say, Representative Lewicki? Oh, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, as of now, uh, and probably until the end of this month, I am still on a dial-up phone connection, and I cannot possibly do video. I am happy, as I said in messages to the speaker and the clerk, to come in and sit in a room by myself at the LOB or in a room with others. Perfect. Okay. And like I said, we're, you know, we're working on all of this. I think we'll have like what, it won't be us that, that meets next week. There'll be one committee. See how it goes, you know, um, see how all of this works. You know, cause we also have, you know, I had questions about um, people calling in from out of New Hampshire, right? I mean, we represent New Hampshire. So I don't want 10 people calling in on a bill from New York city, right? Because they're not New Hampshire, and, and you know, as you know, New Hampshire, we do things our own way. So we have to, you know, we're, there's a lot of kinks that we're working out, and, and you know, it, but I really have faith that it will all work out. Um, who had the next question? We have um, Representative uh, Pat Long. Okay, Representative Long. Hi. 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 Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, now, do we know the capacity in the LOB? Is there not that I know of yet, but it looks like it will be um, wherever the double room is put, right? Because we're going to use double rooms, six feet apart for the people that come, and masks. One at one end of the hall, the other at the other other end of the hall. We're working on um, staggered arrival times. So one committee starts at this time. Another committee will you know, start at this time, something like that. Um, like I said, it's all so new, but you know, our main priority is just making sure that everyone is safe. Okay. And the, um, is, is this the hybrid just for exec sessions? 
Nope, hybrid is for um, for both hearings for, and executives. Absolutely, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Okay, um, and uh, and you're you're when you find out the day, you'll let us know what day. You're oh, definitely pick, right away. Yeah, yeah. So you don't anticipate a couple of days, just one day, so one day nine to week. five, all day. Yeah, um, a week, you know, um, right until we get our work done, but. Yeah, I because with only 17 to 19 bills, I don't think we need two days a week. I think we can get right. a lot a lot done in a day. I think there might be a couple of bills that are going to take um, a longer period of time. Okay. But um, other than that, I, I think we'll be able to get a lot done. You know, as long as we're, you know, on time and, and just sticking to the script, <laughs> okay. you know. Yeah. Yep. But uh, I, I mean, I really believe we can do it. Okay. Representative Wazir had a one thirty appointment. That's why you're not going to see her on here. At the dentist. Yeah. She told me she had okay. to go to the dentist. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Who's next? Nobody has their hand raised at the moment. Okay. No other questions. Wow. You guys are good. But um, so... And like I said, you know, be patient with me, be patient with Representative DeSimone and Representative Alicia. This is, you know, all new to us. Representative Long had some practice at the end of, of last term. So, but this is um, all new to us. And I have just never been a fan of technology. <laughs> so, you know, here we are. But um, just, nobody has any other questions. Nothing, nothing. You did such a good job. Why didn't Pardon we? Me? You did such a good. Patrick, no? You did such a good job. Uh, oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I I think you know that that will be. Let me just go over my notes again, real real quick, to make sure that I don't miss anything. Okay, we do have some hands now. It looks oh, like a Representative go. Alicia has a question and followed okay. by Representative Long. Okay, great. Representative Alicia. Oh, you need to unmute. There you are. Thank you, Madam Chair. My question is regarding the possibility of someone recording our session. And I know that there's there can be issues with that. So just to share with everyone, are we allowed to record the sessions or not? So that people will know in, in advance. Well, I know that it's it's being recorded right now. Um, okay. As far as the outside, I- It's also I, being I streamed on YouTube. Yeah. It's each of the sessions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, it's out there. I suppose if if somebody's going to record it, they're going to have it anyways, and we'll have the original. But I don't know if that's an option for someone who's not a panelist. You know what I mean, um, I Christina? Know. Do you know if that's the case? Uh, no, I don't believe that someone who's not a panelist can do it. Um, but I can say that these are archived on the House of Representative website, so anyone can go back and take a look at the the recording yeah. at any time. Okay, great. So. Thank you on your best behavior <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay representative long you were next hey thank you madam chair um do you anticipate next week starting hearings or not for this committee i don't okay. anticipate that i do anticipate that something will start next week but i don't think it's this one because i think okay. we're going to have a trial run with i hope they don't pick this committee because i really don't want to make us look <laughs> You know, but, um, you know, if I, I just, uh, I, I'm just not sure yet. You know, as you know, we were really behind the timeline with the, um, you know, the passing of the speaker. And, uh, and then of course I got sick. So that really threw me back even more, but, um, you know, we're really, we're really working diligently to get things up and running and get, um, you know, in, in a safe way for everyone. Great. Thank, thank you. Thanks. Anybody else? 
So what I would like to do then is I'm going to, I would like to call on each one of you and you can just give a little overview of yourself, introduce yourself to the committee and, you know, tell a little bit about yourself, you know, why did you choose this committee and, and all of that. So um, I'd like to start with Representative De Simone. There we go. Why, thank you, Madam Chair. It'll be a pleasure to work with you. My name again is uh, Deborah D. Simone. I prefer to be called Deb. Uh, I'm from uh, Atkinson for 35 years. I've been uh, blessed to be able to serve on children and family law in the past. This is my seventh term. Um, I, I think that Children and Family Law Committee has one of the most important tasks because everything we pass out of this committee or not pass out of this committee affects another family's life. Uh, this has been a passion of mine since forever. I'm really enjoying uh, seeing that um, Representative Long, Representative Alisea Petrigno, and Grossman, um, Levesque, Yokella, you're all back. Of course, our esteemed chair, Representative Rice. I look forward to working with everyone. Uh, as Representative Rice said, I'm the vice chair. Um, so if you can't get your question to Representative Rice, by all means, get your question to me. Uh, I will do my best. Uh, to get the answer for your question and look forward to a wonderful term. Thank you. Thanks so much, Representative DeSimone. Um, next, I'm gonna go to Representative Long. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm uh, Pat Long, I'm a Manchester uh, rep. And uh, this is my eighth term, four terms on children and family. Uh, and I'm looking forward to doing some uh, good work. Uh, you know, of, of the, uh, I'm proud along with the committee to have the governor sign our bill. So our work didn't go for naught. So that was good. Um, so I'm looking forward to what we could do this term. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Representative Long. Next, um, Representative Alicia. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm so excited to be back on Children and Family Law. I think I'm excited it's the, to have you. <laughs> thank you. I think it's the beginning. Everything starts at home in, in my heart. So it's, very, it's an, a very important committee to me. Uh, we make decisions that really affect the entire state and all of our families and children. And I, I'm so excited to get to work with all of you to make really good things happen for them. Uh, this I was on three terms and then I worked in Georgia doing voter registration and then I chose to run again. So technically four terms, but I missed, I missed one term. So again, I look forward to working with all of you. And if you have any questions, um, please, my email is caroletta.alisea at leg.state.nh.us, please you can E email me anytime and my phone number is 603-738-1561. So anytime. And I just wanna add, um, Madam Chair is very open to hearing uh, people who maybe have different ideas or suggestions. So I, you know, suggest that if, if you have an idea or something that could make things better for us or, or different, please, if, if you feel comfortable, contact her. I don't want to throw you out there like that, Madam Chair, but I know that you the are <laughs> welcoming to any, almost anything. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, next, we'll go with um, Representative Petrino. Oh, we got to unmute. <laughs> Can't hear you. There, there we go. go. Thank you, Madam Chair. I am Peter Petrino from Milford. For some strange reason, my last name is really challenging for many people to pronounce. I think it's the GN 
that uh, in Italian, we don't have that sound in English, but that's okay. I'm not offended. It's all good. I'm entering my second term uh, in the uh, House and as a member of the Children and Family Law Committee. I'm a retired educator. I taught high school for over 40 years. And aside from education, children and family law was the best fit for me. And I'm very happy to be back. So thank you. We're happy to have you. Okay, so I'm just going to go like along my screen in no particular order. So I don't want to offend anyone, you know. Um, so next up, I have Representative Smith. Where'd you go? Yeah, and I need to unmute, sorry. Um, hi, I'm Denise Smith. I'm from Pelham. Um, I am um, the stay-at-home mom of three adopted children. Um, so family uh, law makes sense to me. Um, Kim asked me to join the committee because of my experience with adoption. I'm sorry, I have to let my dogs out. Um, and uh, uh, this is my first term. I'm looking forward to working with all of you. And um, I am um, hoping that I bring something to the table. <laughs> You'll bring a lot to the table. Don't sell yourself short. Thank you. Hey, so next I have um, Representative Grossman. Hi, everyone. Um, it's Gabby Grossman and I, like Representative Petrino, also have a funny name. <laughs> so Gabby, like Bobby, I guess if that's easy for people. Um, so this is my second term returning. I live in Exeter. I have three boys, a soon to be 16 year old son with autism. And I have twin boys that are middle schoolers. Um, I am chair of the Bipartisan Disability Caucus. So if you have any questions related to that. Um, my background, I was also an educator prior to having my kids. And then I've been at home with them since I had them. And then I'm also an artist. I have a studio. Um, so, and we recently became campground owners. So we made a big shift in our life. <laughs> And we bought a campground in Ashland, New Hampshire with a hundred um, sites. So if you're into camping, come visit us this summer. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I didn't know that. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. And thank and you. We just might because I love Ashland. We go up there a lot. Awesome. Thanks so much. Okay. Representative Belanger. Hi, everybody. My name is Cody Belanger. I'm from Epping. Uh, I'm very excited to be here to the point where my wife teased me that I started crying, um, that I was given a put on this committee. Um, not only, I'm trying not to cry right now, um, not only am I a student and a child of the system, both at DCYF and juvenile justice, um, but my wife and I are also, um, we've taken on the custody and uh, hopefully the soon to be role of adopting our nephew. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm You're giving me goosebumps, get... Cody, really. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving like, my goosebumps. eyes are watering right now, and I don't even know why. Um, but uh, I am very excited to be here. I'm excited to work under um, Representative Rice and Representative DeSimone. Um, I care so very much about the system. Um, it has its quirks. It has its moments. But I'm hoping that we can be a part of the change and affect for the better. Great. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much, Representative Belanger. Okay, next representative, Litchfield. I, I was Uh-oh. Oh, here. There, oh, where'd she go? There we go. Can you try again? Oh. Can you? Hmm. A Verizon commercial. <laughs> Do you, are you able to hear me? At I can hear you now. Yeah. I don't know how I can. You're on that. Um, are you able? <coughs> so one of the oh, things, one of the things I'm wondering, um, Melissa, is if you turned if you turned off the audio and called in on your phone to use the audio that way, and we just had your video, I wonder if that would work better. You know what I mean? Like we can 
turn off the audio on your computer, call in with your phone, because there should have been a phone number where you could call in also and use that for the audio. And as long as you don't have them both together, I think we'll be okay. Is that okay, Christina? Absolutely. And Go I'll just making look to these see. executive decisions like I Oh, no, I'm that's talking. perfect. Oh. Yeah, we always recommend calling in if the audio isn't working. Thanks for your patience, everybody. We'll get this figured out. So um, Representative Litchfield, while you're calling in, why don't I go to Representative Levesque and then we'll come back to you, okay? Okay, thanks. All right, Representative Levesque. Hello, my name is Representative Cassandra Levesque. I also go by Cassie. This is my second term on Children and Family Law. I got involved by a, a project that I started when I was 15, 16 years old, and I put in legislation with the help of, of my local representative to end child marriage here in New Hampshire. Took a little bit, but we got it raised to 16. And when I was 19 years old, I was asked to run and I never regretted it since. And I decided to run again. And I have a Girl Scout troop of brownies and juniors. And I started that when I was 18. Um, yeah, I have always volunteered with kids in Girl Scouts, and I worked at a summer camp since I was able to, and I really am passionate about making sure that kids' voices are heard and making sure that we can do what's best for them. Awesome. Thanks so much, Representative Ovec. Okay, Representative Litchfield, are you hooked up now? If you unmute your phone. Okay, are you go able ahead. To hear me now? Okay. Yeah, Is I can hear you. Just turn off the audio on your computer. So you can click and it'll say um, where, I think where your video is, or maybe it's no nope, over by mute. It'll say, um, leave computer audio. If you click the, click the little arrow near the microphone where it says you can mute. About on my telephone right now, my-, my No, on your computer. Just because we're getting feedback from your computer. Do you know what I'm saying? Isn't that strange? There we go. Oh, yeah, because I. Okay, now try. How are you doing? Now try. Now try. See, I can hear myself. <laughs> uh oh, now I. I lost her there too. Okay, I'm just. Oh, there you are. Okay. Peter and I'm just on my my um. Hmm. 
It's still not coming through well. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm happy to just list it. All right, she's frozen up again. I'm sorry, um, Melissa. We're gonna have to work on that. I don't know why that's not working well. Um, Representative Yokella. Hi, um, my name is uh, Representative Josh Yokella. Um, I live, am in Fremont, representing Fremont, Brentwood and Danville. I, this is my second term. Um, both times on children and family law. And I have a wide range of topics. I work, I work um, at an RV dealership and I um, deal with the sales tax and stuff uh, that they collect all across the, all across the nation. So it, I'm, spending time always researching sales tax. And so this is a um, happy distraction from that. And, um, and so yeah, I'm looking forward to another session. Uh, and looking forward to trying to get some movement on some of these important topics that we hear in this committee. So just looking forward to it. Thanks. Hey, thanks so much, um, Representative Yokella. And then um, Representative Lewicki, welcome back. Yes, this is John Lewicki, Representative uh, from Mason and um, Brookline. I am in entering my second term, non-consecutive. I was on children and family law in the term previous to the last. Um, I've spent most of my life working as a systems and electrical engineer and this is somewhat foreign country to me, and I was on children and family law before, and I do uh, with many of the people who are on this call, and I do understand how emotional it is and how sometimes it is rather draining. That's all I have. Great. Right. Thanks so much, Representative Lewicki. Welcome back. All right. Representative Litchfield, do we want to try this one more time? No. <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to get that um, figured out. Trust me, I've been taking notes and plan to go back over to the speaker's office after this is over to bring up um, some of the concerns that um, that I've noticed and everything. Um, but does anyone have any other questions for me or, um, you know, anything that, that you know, you want to bring up? Uh, so just so you know, if you do come in for the committee, there's, um, you can bring like a bottled water, but there's, you can't eat food while you're at the thing. I ask that you keep your um, cell phones, you know, really to a minimum, especially, especially if someone is testifying because there's nothing worse than someone who thinks you're not listening or that you don't care. So it's really important that, you know, you're really focused when people are testifying. Uh, they will be able to see us. There will be a big screen um, TV in the room. So it's going to be um, interesting to say the least. But, um, you know, so those are just some things that if you come in um, from the, um, you know, to come actually into the committee. So I, I want to say that we said today, if you, if, as long as we are six feet away, we will not have to wear a mask while we're sitting. We're also trying to get the, um, the plastic partitions that would go up in between us. Um, so we're looking into that also. But if you get up from your seat, you need to wear a mask. If you are coming into the building, you need to wear a mask until you are seated in your seat. Okay, because regardless of how you feel about it, okay, we have staff here who are very concerned and we have to think of them also. So um, there's that. Um, and I said, you know, no food, keep your electronic use to a minimum. Um, let's see. Uh, Madam Vice Chair, did I forget anything? Probably, but. <laughs> 
Thank you, Madam Chair. I, I don't think you forgot anything. Um, I think that as long as we understand that the perception of our committee is what the public sees. And if we treat each other with the ultimate of respect and leave our party lines at the door, then the general public who testifies feels more comfortable. They feel that their words are not falling on deaf ears. Um, we need to respect each other by referring to each other as um, our chair has today, uh, Representative Grossman, Representative Levesque, whomever, but always use the word representative. Um, that shows that we respect each other and it shows the general public that that's the case and we're serious and we're professional. Um, I will say um, that I believe our chair, when she tells us, because I've heard in, in meetings, um, that our safety as, as well as the employee's safety is utmost. Um, so whether you feel safe or not is your choice. And other than that, to, to back up your words, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much. So I guess I, I, I forgot to kind of introduce myself. <laughs> so I'm Representative Kim Rice. This is my fourth term in the House. Um, this is my second time as a chair and I also serve as the um, speaker pro tem and I will also be serving on judiciary. So I'll be a little busy, so bear with me, please. Um, I got into this because my husband was dragged through the mud in the family court system and his four kids um, were dragged through it, who I'm happy to say now all three of them live with us even though they're adults. <laughs> um, I love them, don't get me wrong. Um, and so, you know, but I've learned a lot. And I, I really say to um, open your ears and listen. If, so, if one of your bills doesn't pass, because trust me, many of mine haven't, there's a reason. Um, you know, keep in mind, we can't pass a bill that's going to affect five people, but hurt thousands. You know, we have a big responsibility, a responsibility that I don't take lightly. And, um, you know, so I, I just want to welcome you all and thank you so much. I know you all didn't choose children and family law, but for those that did choose it, I really appreciate it. For those that stepped up to take the assignment, thank you so much. I, you know, I, I take great care in, in who's on this committee. I, I do take great pride in it. So um, I want to thank you all for showing up today. Um, and as soon as I know what day will be our day, I will let you know and we can go from there. Any questions you have, please take down my cell phone number, which I am not going to announce over the air because I've ended up having um, several people that I don't even know texting me all the time. And, you know, um, I will tell you Sundays are my day with my family. So if I don't necessarily respond, that's why. Um, but, um, you know, shoot me an email and I'll, I'll send you my cell and because I don't have any pro problem with anybody texting me. It's so important to keep the lines of communications open in our committee. So that's about all I have. And uh, so thanks so much for coming and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Rice and thank you everyone else. And thanks so much, Christina. Oh yes. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.